Hello, Verdium here, and welcome back to Xenonauts. Uh, last time we had everyone blow up, to put it bluntly. <laughs> yeah, wasn't a pretty sight. Um, and we're left with this terror mission in Pagoda. We have to deal with that now. Um, and somehow we have to deal with it with half a team. Less. We've just got a bunch of rookies to replace the people who blew up. And somehow... Oh, we have a vehicle now. That's right. So that should help. But we only have three of the original team left. We have Daniel, who was a survivor of um, the base assault over in Bravo Base. And we have Nameless and Mikkel. Unfortunately, Sket, uh, Sket, our other named character, was killed in the explosion. But um, Nameless is still going on strong. So there are two main soldiers that should be able to get us through this. As long as we play carefully. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go and equip... Oh wait, that's the wrong screen. I'm going to go through and equip all these soldiers. I'll bring you back uh, as soon as I've done that. Alright, and we're back. Normally it takes a lot longer than that. It only took about 5 minutes this time. 15 every other time I've done this. We only had to equip our newest recruits. All the privates there. Nameless still has the same equipment. I think I got rid of a flash grenade because he's a bit overweight there. Um, Mikhail's still fine. It will... I say fine, but he's injured. Um, Daniel, still really weak, can't carry anything, so he has to stay in jackal armor, unfortunately, so we're going to have to be careful with him. I don't want him to die because he was a survivor of our uh, Bravo base. The only survivor. Maxim died ages ago. Now we have um, Catalin, just normal rifleman, still slightly overweight, but I don't mind losing a, f a few tears for those extra, extra grenades because they can come in real handy. As we can see here, this is our pack mule. She is just full of grenades. No C4 this time because I don't want everyone to explode into a puddle of blood last, last, uh, like last time. <laughs> I'd rather avoid that. Then we have our Ksenia is now our new assault. She has good strength but not very good accuracy, so perfect for an assault. Still decent health and good to use. So uh, unfortunately she can't carry a health pack like Nameless can. So, just have to do without. Connor, the guy, one of the original members of Alpha Team actually, who was training the rookies over in Bravo Base, is now back in Alpha Team. And unfortunately, he's very weak also, so our sniper, it shouldn't matter too much because he's going to be at the back, but he has to stay in Jackal Armor. Now, our really, really good rookie, Miyu Ito, still can't pronounce it right, but, um,. He is just another rifleman, but he can carry quite a lot, so he should be a valuable member of the team as long as he doesn't explode. Now, now that all that's done, I believe we're ready. Yeah. Okay, so we've got rocket launchers equipped with our new vehicle. Still don't know what to call it. <laughs> just post in the comments if you have an idea. But for now, I'm going to send an interceptor after that and send our dropship over to Pagoda. Now, I'm not liking the look at these uh, alien bases. We're going to have to deal with them very soon, but we all know how that ended last time, so... They're getting upgraded though, so it's the longer we wait, the longer it's... Uh, the harder the mission's going to be, so... Let's just send a condor after this scout here, and... Let's try to commence this terror mission without everyone exploding. I don't know if I'm ready for this, guys. <laughs> right. Okay, you've caught him. Alright, let's engage. Hopefully I can do this every other time I do this. I've actually been getting reasonably well at these mini games, but last episode wasn't too great. Had a few close calls, lost a few interceptors. I think what I'm going to do is just thrust around this guy. That seemed to work last time, even if it did take a bit of time. I don't actually have that much fuel. I can't do this. Um, head-on approach. Is this going to work? Yes, it might actually. A few hits there, but not many. She's just about to sit behind him and unload. Good thing about these... Yeah, that was good. Only one hit. Not too shabby. Those scout craft are relatively easy to take care of because they turn so slowly. It's these um, landing ships that have been showing up uh, recently that are giving me some trouble. I'm not used to them. I don't remember them being that strong. But anyway, as long as... Okay, so there's a ship to deal with. Shouldn't fast forward that much. Alright, so let's send the Foxtrot and a Condor. I'm not going to be able to kill it, I don't think. 
Oh, great. Just the thing we need to lose more relations in South Africa. Already got the two alien bases there. So whichever comes first, this mission or that interceptor will do with it. Oh, of course it escapes. Every time I send them after it, they just run away. Alright, and we're there. <laughs> no hiccups on the way. But again, this is probably going to be a long mission. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will end up lasting an hour, so two episodes. Ah, <sighs> and it's not oh wait, I didn't check if it was night time. <laughs> Well, it's going to be great then. Ugh. Why do I still do that? Ever since episode one. Yep, it's a night mission. Great. <laughs> Make a hard mission harder. But as you can see, we have a new dropship now and our vehicle. I kind of... Oh, okay. And there's an officer present. No, they showed up in terror missions. So, that's one of our main objectives, to capture this officer so we can find out about the aliens, why they're here, etc, etc. I already know why they're here, but, yeah. I've already played through the game. Um, so this vehicle should come in handy, but it only has eight rockets, so we're going to have to use it sparingly. Now, I'm going to move Nameless up first. Let us have a look around. Now, we seem to be in the corner of the map, which is not bad. Oh, okay, so they're Sibelians right off the bat. At least they're not Androns. That they gave us quite a lot of trouble last time. Okay, so they're shooting at us already. I'm not sure I want to use our missile, I don't... Yeah. Alright, let's just see if we can take him out with Catalin. It's been a while since she's been back on the team. She was the replacement for the first person who died, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. Now... It's gonna be tricky. I might have to crash it down so someone else can take a shot. But let's take a few shots at him. Good, good. Keep it up. Let's have Connor spin around. You're gonna hit your friend, great. Stand here. He should be able to get two snapshots off. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, one more. Yes, of course. Right. Now, Laura, one of our new rookies, can't do anything because she's the pack girl, right? So, you s let's drop all the grenades on the ground. I'm just going to pause it here because this will take a little. Alright, so that's done. She can't take a shot, though, because that uses a lot of TUs, dropping all that stuff on the ground. So, who else can take a shot? Connor can't. He's already used all of his TUs. This assault really can't do anything, so we're just going to move her out with Nameless. Assaults can stay together. And there's one over there, Spellion. Great. The good thing about these, um, even though it is a night mission, the good thing about these vehicles, though, is they have headlights, which uh, will lights up the area, so it's a lot easier to than, other, if, uh, ah, than it would otherwise be. So, Daniel, can you shoot at this guy? Yes, but you're going to shoot your friend in the back several times. That's going to be great. Um, Ito. I'm just going to call him Ito because it's easier. Um, let's see if you can finish this guy off. Do an accurate shot. And miss. That wasn't so accurate. Great. Oh. I don't want to use this rocket, but we may have to. Unless Mikkel can do it. Counted on him before. Oh no, great. So I've kind of locked him in. Mikhail's done it plenty of times before. He's survived many missions. He's been here since the beginning. Can he do it? Of course he can't. <laughs> Let's try again. Alright, he did it this time. Alright, now everyone's all boxed in here. So this is the point where someone shoots a rocket in and blows us all up, like last time. Alright. Let's move from here. We might. We can still shoot an aimed shot if we need to, but I'd rather not. Alright. See, that's only 13% chance. That's gonna hit that wall there, so I'm not gonna use the vehicle right now. I'm just gonna kind of scout with him. He can tank some shots. 
Um, so I could move him in front of the civilian, but I don't really care about civilians. <laughs> they just kind of take bullets, or at least these ones can fire back, do a bit of damage. Um, let's move Daniel up behind the explosive car there, next to the fuel tank. That's probably not a good idea. But anyway, let's just roll with it. Um, that's just about all we can do with the turn. Move Nameless up a little bit more. Is there anything over there? Let's see if we can throw a flare. This is why I don't like night missions. I have to throw flares everywhere. Seems to be clear. Let's have him crouch down. Less chance of being hit in the face. And... Who else hasn't... No, that's everyone. Alright, let's end the turn and hope no one explodes. Now the thing... Oh, okay. Do they have Reapers? And he's zombifying some civilians. That's great. Yeah, I've mentioned them before, we haven't seen them in action now, until now. But they instantly kill anything that- oh, grenades, great. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so the car exploded, Nameless resisted the grenade, Daniel's still alive, but barely. I'm glad Nameless wasn't injured there, because he's our last named character and one of the two survivors of Alpha Squad. Surprised Daniel didn't take as more damage there. He doesn't have all farmer, and he was next to an exploding car. I believe I've mentioned how much I hate grenades. This game. At least the car can't explode now. But Nameless is running, and he's dropped his shield. Okay, great. He's bleeding too, so we have to. Okay, so we did take damage. It said resist. Well, that's not gr not a great start. Ksenia doesn't have a med pack, so we're going to have to move Ito up. And use... Oh, it's actually a female. Okay. He's her med. This is definitely not a good start. I may have to retreat again, and I really don't want to. We can't afford it. This is Central America. This is where Bravo base is. And we'll lose two countries if we fail this mission. So... On that note, I think we are going to shoot a rocket up here, if we can. I'd rather get it through that gap there if I can. But it's going to cost a lot of to use because this guy is bloody standing in the road. And there's a 25% chance of blowing that civilian up. I don't care about civilians, but he's standing right in front of this vehicle. Is that an alien or is that... Another civilian? <laughs> Whatever. He's gonna get blown up probably. Let's let's try. Yeah, there he goes. I hope it was an alien, but whatever. Okay. Laura. You can step over here and shoot at this guy, right? Yep. Will you have to use to get away? Yes, okay. And every single one hit the ship. Good job. Really need to kill this alien now before he throws another grenade and kills Daniel. In the meantime, I don't think anyone has a med to save Daniel, so he's going to bleed out a little bit, but he shouldn't die. Let's see if he can take out this alien. No, of course, he missed all ten bullets with the machine gun. Great job. It's only about five meters away. Surely you could have hit one. Well, he's in a bad position here, so I need to move him. I'm going to move him into the smoke a little. <sighs> I have a feeling he's going to die. Right, um, let's move Senia up. Hopefully, she'll uh, the alien will shoot at her because she has a shield. We're just going to fire a pistol bullet and miss. And who else can move? We have Catelyn. Someone has to kill this alien now before he kills more of us. Right, one take a shot. Miss, of course. Another shot. Miss. Oh, I swear these guys were better a couple missions ago. Right. Come on, Mikhail. You can do it. Nope. 
Apparently not. Seriously, these are like 50% chance, and we're like missing every shot. What is going on? Surely the sniper can hit. Surely. No! 66! What is going on? Oh, this game. <laughs> right. Well, I can pretty much guarantee that one of these guys are going to get hit next turn. I think he's going to go for them because they're out of cover, or he's just going to shoot Daniel in the back. Daniel's going to die, this guy with the um, uh, sniper is going to die, or one of the one of them is going to get wounded. I'm calling it now. Let's see. Okay, so they're not coming towards us, that's good. And, yep, let's shoot the fuel tank, good job. But that looked like a reaper that was heading towards us from that direction, so we need to kill that. And we're kind of getting surrounded right now. Oh, okay, is he gonna hit? No, okay, suppressed, he can only take one shot, so that was good. But, <sighs> there, I can see about eight aliens all around us. Oh, nine, actually. So that's like all of the aliens on the map. It's kind of good that we're in the corner of the map, because they get funneled to us gradually. <sighs> Will we, we be able to do this without losing anyone? That is the question. I think we should be able to do it with the vehicle, as long as we don't lose it early on. I don't care about losing the vehicle though, because it doesn't cost anything and it just gets repaired over time. Same as your aircraft. And whilst Daniel's still bleeding. Let's see if you can take out that reef. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, surely. How much is it going to cost? 51. Crouch and still shoot. Good. Right, good job. You actually hit it this time. <sighs> right, Nameless, go and grab your shield. Stop running away. You can just crouch there. You don't have to use to shoot at this guy. Oh, do you? You do. Okay, let's do that then. And miss. What is going on with you guys? Are you just panicking? Is that it? Right, let's just shoot at this guy and actually kill him? No. It's like two meters away, come on. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had a team that misses this much. Alright. Come on, you two. You're a good rookie. Surely you can. No, you can hit your teammate. Uh, can you get close enough? Need at least 18 for a snapshot. 26 for normal. Let's go here. And you know. Let's go here. Snapshot him. At least he's suppressed. That's something. Let's... Okay, screw this. Um, how much for a burst? 35. Let's stand you there. On the him at close range, you hit two bullets out of three. That's something. It's better than anyone has done against that guy. Sniper. One. You're supposed to be accurate here. Nope, you hit the wall. Good job. Shot number two. Hit the ground. Great job. <sighs> These people, I swear. Okay, you need 33 for a burst. That's actually good, good reflex there. Let's burst him. And he's dead. After how many turns? But now everyone is kind of in a bad position. But can we get shot by this alien? No. So we're kind of okay on that front. Now, question is, do I shoot at this zombie? Or do I shoot at this guy who's standing next to a car that will probably kill him? Or this guy even? You know, I think the zombie probably won't be able to get to us this turn, and I think it takes like three turns for them to turn into a full reaper, so I think we're going to shoot right, come on, we don't need to try and get the car in the splash, I want to try and hit the alien too if we can, what about here, 30? gonna 
miss anyway, so you're... Let's just go for this. It'll still hit the car. Okay, 81 damage on him. Not dead, and I just got a huge burst of lag there. Mika oh wait, Mikael's here, he can deal with the zombie. That's good. Let's move him up behind this car. And... Burst shot? Yes. And miss every shot. Okay, um... I'm moving the vehicle in front of Mikael here because that zombie can probably reach him right now. And at least that's going to make the zombie have to walk around the vehicle. And it'll kind of cover him from that angle too. So, it shouldn't be able to reach him. I hope not. I don't know if they killed him instantly. I don't think I've ever been hit by a zombie in this game. We'll see. Hopefully not, actually. I don't, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. And there's an, at least another Reaper on the map. I could hear him. So that military soldier guy is actually helping us there. Sure, the zombie hasn't moved up. And it seems it was a good idea to move that vehicle there. Because he's shielding Mikhail right now from those aliens over there. But it's taking some damage. It's taking a beating. We need to make sure we move it back a little now because it's what's keeping us in this with all its rockets. If we lose that, it's going to be significantly harder and I feel like we will lose someone. Now we're only about six turns in and it's already been 20 minutes. We still need to heal Daniel, that's right. We need to fix him up quick before he dies. We have the uh, aimless sh uh, shielding Ito here. So let's pull out your meds again. Yes, he can be the designated medic for this episode. Just stand here and crouch behind the burning car. Never a bad idea. Now. Aura. Now's your time to shine, rookie. Shoot the zombie. Okay, so I forgot they did that. Um, in this game, you kill the zombie, it still turns into a reaper. So that makes that a priority target. We need to kill it now. Otherwise someone's going to turn into a zombie. Turning into zombies isn't nice. Right, there we go. Triple shot. Why couldn't you do that before, Catalan? Why? Would have been nice. Alright. So, this guy up here is still... Oh, okay. We have another one over here. Could hit him directly. Hit this guy directly too, but probably... Not going to hit. But this guy. There's a lot of targets to pick from here. I feel like... A sniper could probably deal with this guy, so I'm gonna shoot this guy right over here, right in the face with a rocket. 127 damage, and he's still alive. <laughs> right, Mikhail. If you miss this, I swear. Okay, good. Good job. Finally, starting to land some hits here. Going to see if we can move the vehicle in. No, oh, I don't want to do that actually, that's a bad idea. Now we're kind of blocking our own shots with the vehicle here. But good thing is that guy can't really hit us, so we're just gonna focus on this guy over here. Getting some hits in. What is this? Alright, let's take two hits. Come on, sniper. You can do it. Oh, you can't. One bullet though. It's better than you have been doing. Take a snapshot because why not? And let's move Nameless up slightly away from the fuel tank. And we'll th make him throw another flare because it's very dark over there. And we did have a Reaper come from that direction before. Alright, and we'll move the other assault up. Cassania? No. I think we might just have a similar name to someone. I could have sworn she was already on our team at some point, but no. She's a private. Um, have her throw a flare too, I think. Can we get it inside the building? No. 
See, if this was XCOM anyone known, it would just go straight through the wall, like everything in that game. <laughs> One thing I do like about that game though is it has multiplayer, you can fight your friends. But um... Ooh, how's it move? Daniel, you're in a, some dire straits there, so I think I'm gonna leave you here. You can just be on the defense. There's one more bullet and he is dead, and I'd rather not lose our only survivor of Bravo Base. Right, so let's end the turn. Hope the vehicle doesn't blow up. I mean, I think it's far enough away that it wouldn't hurt Mikhail. But, who knows. Ooh, okay, so the vehicle's gonna blow up. There it goes. And another grenade! Ugh. So our newest assault could die right here. 47 damage. I believe she has 53. She's probably going to blow out in the next turn. <sighs> Bloody grenades. On the plus side though, I think we're about halfway through all the enemies on this map. Oh, civilians are actually coming in here. Yeah, there she goes. She's dead. At least it's not one of our important characters. I hate saying that, but it's true. Let's kill this bastard, get revenge, if you can land a shot. Nope, you can't, of course. I mean, this civilian guy could land a shot. Why can't you? You're supposed to be, like, the best of the best out of the whole world. Come on. Nope, still shooting. I think that was under his legs. That takes some skill. Ah, uh, still miss. Still. Now there's some bullets coming from this way, but we can still use the wreckage as cover, which is great. I thought it would disappear. Let's keep shooting Mikhail. <laughs> of course Mikhail can do it. We knew that. <sighs> but I'm gonna have to move him, because he was taking some shots before. So we're gonna move him here behind this car. He can still take a snapshot if need be. But we have lost our vehicle now. We no longer have any rockets. So this mission just got a whole lot harder. We're just going to hold our position. Let the aliens come to us. Uh, heal up Daniel some more. And then you're going to pick up your weapon. Drop the med pack because it's half used. Wait, where'd you drop your weapon here? Okay. Sit back behind the car. Probably not good to have them standing together. As we've seen, they like using grenades. They like throwing them at our faces. But I think we're in a reasonably good position right now. As long as they don't throw any <laughs> sneaky grenades, I think we'll be okay. <sighs> With that, that's actually the end of episode one. So I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes.